Now, we will talk about the next question children. Now, the next question is question number uh, fifth. Okay. So, we will talk about the question number fifth. Now, what is question number fifth children? Prepare a table. Uh, yeah, they prepare a table having two columns. Uh, where it is going? Uh, yeah, uh, where we have we are supposed to write the endocrine glands and the hormones which are secreted by the uh, particular endocrine gland. Okay, so what is the question, children? Uh, write down the name of the endocrine gland and also the name of the hormone which is secreted by that particular. Uh, Glenn. So, now we have studied children in detail uh, like testes, ovaries is not it, testes secrete testosterone which is responsible for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics in males which is responsible for the secrete for the production of the sperm. If we talk about ovaries and ovaries secrete uh, estrogen which is responsible for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics in the female. It is responsible for the secretion of the or uh, you know uh, certain uh, hormones which are uh, bringing certain female uh, feministic changes in the females mm, and then it, it is also responsible for the production of the eggs is not it the maturity the, the egg starts getting mature. So, uh, these are the two sex hormones testosterone and the ovaries. Then we talk about pituitary gland children, pituitary gland we have studied the location also of all the different glands that pituitary gland is uh, you know it is responsible for secreting many hormones ok. But especially if we talk about it secretes the growth hormone, if we talk about the hormone like uh, thyroid. So, thyroid hormone is responsible for secretion of thyroxine is not it. Uh, even in the uh, animals we know that uh, if the thyroxine is not there then the, the proper development the metamorphosis uh, cannot takes place this also we have studied in detail. Then we talk about pancreas if we talk about pancreas insulin is secreted if insulin is not secreted properly and uh, if the person has one or the other you know problem um, regarding the pancreas or the insulin. So, the person can uh, uh, suffer from the diabetes from the disease name is named diabetes is not it. So, these all are the glands which we have studied in the chapter. So, we will just uh, write down the names of the glands as well as the hormones which are secreted by the glands. So, here name of the glands ok and the hormone which is secreted ok. So, first of all we will talk about the testes ok. First of all is what testes and it is secreting which hormone children? Testosterone ok. Now, we have just discussed the functions also ok. Now, second is ovaries estrogen ok. Then pituitary it is growth hormone. Then, so it is thyroid, thyroxine. Okay, then uh, adrenal. So it is adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline. Now, what is left now? Testes, ovaries, pituitary, thyroid adrenal and now pancreas it secretes insulin ok. So, these all are the glands and 
these all are the hormones okay so what was the question children the question was that we are supposed to write certain glands which are responsible for the secretion of certain hormones okay so what are the endocrine glands we have studied this endocrine glands what are these endocrine glands like testes we have studied this in detail that testes are responsible for the secretion of testosterone now what is this responsible for this is responsible for the development of Se sexual characteristics isn't it sexual characteristics can be seen in the males due to the presence of testosterone isn't it now sperm production can also be uh, is it uh, like uh, sperm production is possible only due to the presence of the testosterone now this is which where it can be seen it is only present in the males okay now if we talk about the next one so this one is seen only in females now what is this ovaries estrogen is secreted now it is responsible for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics in the females it is at the same time responsible for the development of the ovums maturity secretion release i should say okay now secretion release now if we talk about pituitary so now these two hormones are sex hormones why these are uh, known as sex hormones because these are secreted by the sex organs isn't it and uh, uh, and these are responsible for the uh, development of the secondary sexual characteristics and so these are known as sex hormones now pituitary hormone pituitary pituitary gland i'm so sorry pituitary hormone i said pituitary gland children pituitary gland is actually responsible for the secretion of many uh, other Uh, hormones also, but uh, that we will be studying in some higher class. So for us now, pituitary is responsible for the secretion of growth hormone. Now this growth hormone is responsible for the proper growth in the uh, animals. I am talking about human beings. Now thyroid secretes thyroxine. Now, uh, now adrenal secretes uh, thyroid. We have discussed now only before this writing this thing. now adrenal is responsible for the secretion of adrenaline now what happens if adrenaline is not uh, like when it is secreted when the person is in stress he is scared he is uh, you know due to some anxiety due to some excitement due to uh, more happiness maybe due to you know in such kind of feelings all uh, when such kind of emotions are there as in when such kind of emotions are there then uh, adrenaline is responsible for actually for all such kind of emotions and feelings now when we talk about pancreas insulin is uh, secreted from the pancreas and what is the responsibility of the insulin to keep a check on the sugar isn't it if insulin is not secreted properly from the pancreas then the level of sugar won't be uh, you know will increase in the blood may be in the urine also so uh, these are all the endocrine glands why these are known as endocrine glands because these are responsible for the secretion of certain chemicals now these glands are also known as ductless gland why these glands are known as ductless gland as these glands do not have ducts they are directly released into the blood from the blood they reaches to the particular organ where it has to act okay where they are responsible to show the action that area is known as what target area or target site so uh, these are known as ductless glands also now this was the question number 5 now we'll be talking about the question number 6 before talking about question number 6 please uh, no we have space now so i will not rub the board rather just i will draw one line over here okay so now question number 6 is what are six hormones why are they named so state their function okay so in one question only they are asking about the three questions just now we have discussed just now i discussed i told this these are sex hormones isn't it these are sex hormones why these are known as sex hormones because these are responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristics isn't it 
sexual characteristics can be seen only due to the presence of the testosterone and estrogen and that is the reason these are known as sex hormones ok. So, um, what is the question? What are sex hormones? So, uh, next is the three parts are there. First is what are sex hormones? Ok. Then what why are they named so and state their function? So, we will talk about the first one first of all. Ok. So, sex hormones. the chemicals which are secreted by sex organs like testes and ovaries. ok they are responsible for the secretion of or what they are responsible for the secretion of oh they are responsible for the development they are responsible for the development there is no place of secondary sexual features in males and females ok. So, ok. So, what is the question what are sex hormones? So, sex hormones are the chemicals which are secreted by sex organs like testes and ovaries. Now, second part is why are they named so? they are responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristics and so they are known as sex hormones ok. Now, okay. so if we talk about testes just now here only we have written that it secretes for testosterone ok. So, it is secreted and ovaries secrete estrogen. Now, I will not be writing in detail, but just uh, a flow chart sort of thing. It produces what? Sperms. It produces what? Ovums. Ok. And whatever the sexual characteristics are there, like just now we have discussed. So, that characteristics are seen due to the secretion of what? Testosterone and the estrogen. So, I am not writing please pay attention this answer I am not writing in detail because just in this answer also we have discussed and before this answer also we have discussed about the characteristics ok. So, that is the reason I am not writing this answer completely over here. So, this was the sixth question what are the sex hormones? Sex hormones are the hormones which are secreted by the sexual correct uh, what sex organs like testes and ovaries and these are responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics in males and in females and so these are known as sex hormones ok. Now, what is the function just now we have discussed development of sperm, development of ovas is it and then certain different uh, other characteristics also like to um, show the female characteristics are seen and their male characteristics are seen. One more characteristic feature which we did not write in the female uh, features ok was the development of the memory glands. So, memory glands also get developed in the females that was also one of the very important characteristic which we missed out in the uh, while writing the 
characteristic feature of the females. So all these characteristics which we have discussed are what like uh, we discussed while, uh, while writing I have discussed that these are the secondary sexual characteristics and so that also has to be written in this. So now we will be talking about the next question which is the question number 7. Before moving to the question number 7 please note this down so that uh, you know it becomes clear and then we will be discussing about the next one. Now we will move to the next question. Now next question is question number 7. Okay, so I will just write over here question number 7. Now what is question number 7 children? Choose the correct option. Now first is adolescent should be careful. Okay. Uh, adolescents uh, should be careful about what they eat because they are talking they are saying that the one who are in adolescent stage they should be very very careful about what they eat. So they have given certain options that what are the different options why they need to be very very careful. So the first one is uh, proper diet develops their brain. That means they are saying that if they will take proper diet it will develop their brains. Now, Second one what they are saying is proper diet is needed for the rapid growth taking place in their body. Second they are saying that if they take the proper diet uh, it will be very helpful for the proper growth. It is very very essential for the proper growth of the body. Now third is uh, adolescent uh, feel hungry all the time that they are feeling hungry okay they are hungry all the time and so they need to eat more and a good diet they need to take. Uh, so uh, fourth one is also their children taste buds are well developed in teenagers ok very funny they are saying that taste buds they develop and it is correct also you know because indirectly yeah, I am not saying that taste buds are more uh, developed and uh, you know and so they are eating I am just talking in general that teenagers if we talk about they are more inclined towards eating you know the junk food. Uh, isn't it more uh, something something new every time? So uh, they are in habit of doing. They enjoy. Love, they love to have different kind of food. Okay, uh, jokes apart. Coming back back to the point. So uh, what can be the right answer, children? Uh, they need to take proper diet because it is an it is a need, isn't it? The proper development take can take place only if they eat properly. So the second one proper diet is needed for the rapid growth taking place in their body because rapid growth is taking place in their body the, the physical changes are there ok uh, the height get increased the weight get increased. So uh, these are the changes that means the cell numbers are increasing and so like body is developing and so they need more of uh, uh, you know uh, better food good food. So they eat more so and that is the reason they should be more careful and they should eat uh, and take proper diet. So what is the correct answer I am talking about objective A and the correct answer is what is the correct answer children proper diet is needed. where it is going for the rapid growth for the rapid growth ok taking place in there body ok. So it is they uh, it is not like that that, that that their taste buds get more developed or their brain will develop no the whole body development is taking place is not it and so they need to be very very careful about what they eat ok. Now come to the next one children uh, it is B now this was A of 7 now I am talking about B. Okay. 
what is that children uh, reproductive age in women's women uh, starts when they are okay they are talking they are saying that the reproductive age or the maturity or when does a, a female become ready uh, like, uh, like you know we can say that biologically she can reproduce so when does it becomes due to the begin of menstruation when the menstruation starts so this is the correct answer the first answer only is the correct one so uh, next is breast starts developing third is body weight increases and the fourth is height increases so the correct one is menstruation starts isn't it we all have discussed this so it is uh, b number no yes so the correct answer is menstruation correct no i am writing correct yes menstruation Uh, starts when menstrual cycle starts this is a sign that reproduction can takes place reproductive uh, cycle can begin like reproductive cycle can begin means biologically the female is ready to reproduce ok now uh, I have written wrong spelling something oh how I have written this so m e n s ok now uh, now we will be talking about the next one which is C, 7C, this is the right meal for adolescent consist of ok, the we are talking about now C1, the right meal for adolescent consist of chips, noodles, coke, they like this but is it correct, no, chapati, dal, vegetable very nice and rice noodles and burger so burger is there noodle is there so not at all acceptable now fourth one vegetable is good cut, vegetable cutlet they have said then chips and lemon drink no no no, no not acceptable so uh, 7c what is a perfect one chapati dal and vegetables so whatever you eat roti sabji and dal is a perfect food for you all so it is what it is chapati dal and vegetables this is the perfect food because lot of development takes place during this period and so for the proper development proper diet is essential and proper diet includes what see basically you know I am telling you this I have discussed before also that Indian diet hmm? Indian diet is generally a proper Indian diet I am talking about ok an Indian diet is considered as a balanced diet because daily what do we eat we have chapati we uh, take dal sabji and rice also and curd also isn't it so uh, this is a and salad also so this is a perfect balanced diet so whatever you uh, eat uh, what, what you, whatever you want to eat you can have you know uh, once a while maybe on Sundays so but uh, rest of the days you need to take balanced diet so what is a balanced diet it includes roti means chapati sabji dal rice salad curd all this is a part of the proper diet now this was our question number 7 now uh, question number 8 